Good afternoon, everybody, and it's time for another episode of We Speak Dispatch. And today we got a special one because not only do we have our regulars, Glenna and John, are with us. Hi, you guys. Hello. We have a guest that saw our episodes before and said, hey, I want to be on there. And sent us an email, and we oh here he is right there. So Bill, go ahead and give us a yeah. quick who you are. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name's Bill, and I've worked in dispatch for 28 years, two different police agencies, a smaller agency, and then a medium size agency. I've done um, most of the jobs: call, take, dispatch. I've uh, been a supervisor, training coordinator, and, um, and ultimately a shift administrator. So you definitely speak dispatch. Well, I would <laughs> I would say that. <laughs> we don't need a translator. You got it. You know what we're talking about. So you wanted to talk about today are what are some of the qualities that make a great telecommunicator, which I think is a great topic because we're always looking to hire people and everybody's got openings and we never can hold on to anybody long enough. So, so Bill, why don't you start us off today and tell us what are some of those great qualities we look for in a good telecommunicator? So uh, this came from a conversation that I was having with some of my telecommunicators. And um, my thought, my initial thought with this, especially on the police side, I'm not so, you know, because I haven't done fire and medical. So, but I think it's mostly um, that really makes a great telecommunicator is forethought and being able to think ahead um, to, to what's going to happen or what possibly could happen. Um, and trying to mitigate those circumstances. So you, yeah. for example, you get a robbery call and you know, the suspects have fled, but uh, you know that the officer is gonna be asking for possibly canine and air, um, evidence collection, you know, just different things like that, medical if someone's injured. Um, so being able to think ahead and seeing the big picture, uh, I think is one of the most important. Um, That's a good one. Being a great yeah. telecommunicator. Very good. Well, Glenna, yeah. what do you got? Well, I'm coming you to you today, coming <laughs> to you today from the great Pacific Northwest, what you see wow. behind me. And so it it's the perfect background for what I have to say. I think that the perfect, the perfect, there's nothing perfect in telecommunication. <laughs> um, but being a good telecommunicator or being a good dispatcher, you have to have balance. balance. And I think if you don't have balance, if you don't have that work, and that life balance there, work takes over, you get burned out, you get, um, you know, we always talk about the medical issues that you can get from the stress and everything. Um, but I, I think a, a really good dispatcher is able to take a step back from work, from dispatching, and be able to disconnect from, from all of that and, and be able to concentrate on other things in life. Wow. Because it That's just like good any one. job. Well, just like any job that you have, any job, whether it's, you know, in an office or uh, in retail or whatever, you you have to be able to step away from your job. That's why we go on vacation. But not everybody <laughs> can go on vacation and That's have this true. beautiful background here. And, and um, sometimes, I mean, we've all heard people say that this job is just consuming. It's yes, just you're there so much and there's overtime and mandatory and all these things that you have to find that kind of balance, which is an excellent point right there. Wow, that's a good one. John, can you beat that? Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for coming. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, and done. Uh, but one thing, you know, before, before the call comes in, um, Bill, you mentioned about robbery or any call for that matter. And I agree with uh, Glenna, the balance here, but with balance comes a couple things that preface all that. And that is commitment, and punctuality. Oh yeah, oh um, gosh. Punctuality of just being there and on time yeah. to relieve the people that uh, will be taking over. And, or if you have breaks in your center, coming back from breaks on time. Um, and then the commitment, it's just the commitment to learn everything, the commitment for uh, the organization. Um, some organizations invest in people and people need to invest back. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like that. I like the punctuality because we, I've worked with a lot of people that have a problem with that. No, not <laughs> I, indeed. Even when I worked in Los Angeles, uh, we had people that would say, 
hey, I, I'm late, there's traffic. And I'm like, there's really traffic in downtown Los Angeles, something brand new? It's, it's right. not new. So it is, it is definitely something. Glenn, I'm not sure what happened to you, but you sort of disappeared for a second here. So Maybe uh, Bigfoot really did come. I'm thinking Bigfoot jumped and got something over there right now. So, Bill, what else do you think? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Bill, what, what else do you think goes into making a, a great tele? Have you ever hired anybody? Um, well, I've been part of the hiring process. Uh, really, our, our personnel section does most of it, but I've been on the interview boards quite a number of times and things like that. What, do, what are um, you looking for when you're interviewing somebody? What do you look for? I, I want the person who's, I, when, I, when I was teaching, I always taught that being a call taker and a dispatcher is being a problem solver. Mm -hmm. And so True. think about how do I solve this problem? Because we get the, the very unusual things that come up. And so, you know, before we had cell phone, uh, location hits when somebody was calling in on a cell phone we didn't get any location and so how do you solve that problem when they don't they're not able to give you a, a street and things like that so I wanted the people that were were thinkers you know yeah. not just followers but they had to they had to be the, the the doers the thinkers and the doers to be able to solve those those issues um, sure and, we and had, you and you did really date yourself by saying that you had phones before they had locations and Annie Alley. So I'm just you saying. There, okay. <laughs> I know when I started, we all, we didn't even get the phone number. We didn't even call her ID. Nothing. That's right. Just, good luck to you. And I think a lot of that it taught us to to really hone in and ask those right kinds of questions to kind of find somebody. Whereas if now if your Annie Alley screens go down, a lot of people are in a panic mode. So oh, we, yeah. we yeah they got to make sure that. So Glenn, yeah, what else? How, you... how many clicks it was on the rotary, right? Oh my God! <laughs> well, well, we did have some rotary phones back when I was a. Well, child, now, now so. take out the rotary, advanced several decades. I mean, barely. I don't. I can't recall the last time I got a call from a payphone. Oh, I don't even right. think they have payphones. Oh, do they have payphones anymore? I don't even think they do. Well, They're they very, those? very few and far between. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll be at an airport next week, and I, I, I'm going to look around. I don't think there's any there, so. Oh, it's, it. it's something. Well, Glenna, what else do you have for, for what goes into making a great telecommunicator? What's that ingredient that we need? You know, I think that um, good work ethic is extremely important. It doesn't matter um, if you're older or younger or just coming into the job or being here 30 years. A good work ethic, which is not necessarily something that we can teach, you have to kind of come into the job with it um, because even though we are probably the most supervised department in a police department or EMS agency or fire department, we have to make split second decisions. We have access to so much information that in a split second, it could all go wrong. Oh, so yeah. having a good work ethic, you know, if you make a mistake, what's the first thing you do? Do you try and cover it up? Of course not, because we do make mistakes. But you need to let people know, oh, I messed up, let's fix it. Because yeah. if you don't, then you die. So having a good work ethic, getting it, you know, when you're on the job, making sure that you're policing yourself, making sure that you are um, just living up to the standards that the agency has put forth, it, because you are on your own a lot. How many people work graveyard or work weekends where there's no supervisor on duty? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> The, the best part wow. is the fact that you're calling from the great Pacific Northwest oh, and no. your voice hasn't, your voice is perfect, but your picture has stayed the same. You're doing some kind of like telecommunication through, uh, you know, your mind or something. It's great. It's the balance. <laughs> yeah. It's that balance, I guess. You got yeah. it. <laughs> well, you need to catch up here. This internet is spotty at best. I'm, I'm sure that's understand. the thing. You're in a, you're in a forest for God's sakes, but we do appreciate you coming <laughs> on to this. Yeah. On to our little broadcast today. So, I mean, let me ask you this. Is there, is there one thing that you see in a dispatcher on your floor, on your operations out there that you think, man, I wish I could take that person and have everybody have that same quality, what they have out there. I'll, I'll tell you when, when I've worked in, I just retired not that long ago, but we would see somebody who is just absolutely ferocious when it comes to helping somebody. If the person says, never mind, they're like, oh, no, 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 you call down on, what do you need? How can I help you? 
And just yeah. that kind of drive to get that information from them and really try to help somebody, which is great. It's that so, high level of service. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Yeah. Because, John, you guys do fire. Don't you guys do fire and police? You do all yeah, three. Yeah, we, we do all three. Oh, so wow. Is there, is there a difference between those that work in fire and those that work in pub, uh, police work in the dispatch world? Is there some kind of I quality you got to have? Yeah, I would say no. They're universal qualities. I mean, it's just a different type of information that is needed to be gathered. But you yeah. still need one to be there, be there on time. Everything we said for uh, what Bill said about foreseeing for the future, forecasting kind of thing. Is this outside fire really close to the structure or not? It could be a box alarm or a building fire, or Ooh, is that vehicle yeah. fire now really a truck fire or God forbid, a tanker fire. And so, we know how a simple fire can turn into a yeah. major does yeah. not or, you know, you call out The hazmat so, team, or then we yeah. have to call it the highway patrol. So, I mean, I, I would say those qualities are universal, whether yeah. it become, whether you're processing and managing law enforcement, rescue, or fire events. Wow, that's good. All right. So, hey, you know what, Bill, I am so glad that you contacted us and said, hey, yeah. y'all, I want to be part of that dispatch world of talking out of this. We speak dispatch. You said, I speak it. I can come on and do it. I want to do it. We <laughs> thank you for your topic today. Uh, I thank Glenna thank for coming guys. to us from the forest. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's showing her commitment by coming online now. I'm telling you, I'm right. telling you. <laughs> that is full on yeah. You're hired. out there. So, all you right. So I definitely appreciate it. looking for Sasquatch. <laughs> there, don't, please don't find Sasquatch while we're on the uh, road yeah, right? right now. <laughs> all right. Well, we definitely appreciate everybody's been here. Hey, if you've got a comment or a question or you want to be like Bill and join us one day, yeah. update and send a comment to us send us an email at we speak dispatch dot or at gmail.com and we'll be glad to help you out all right everybody i appreciate your time and efforts thanks bill for coming on i appreciate your stuff out here we'll see you next Thank time you all right thanks Thank you.